Hi, I'm George Teal, Douglas County Commissioner, and I'm here today in the Veterans Service Office here at Douglas County to introduce our brand new Veterans Service Director, Chris Mays. Now, I was going to say, welcome, sir, but you were a Sergeant Major, so I don't want to insult you. Welcome, Sergeant Major, to the team. Can you tell us something about your background? Uh, yes, thanks, Commissioner Till. I was born and raised in Southern Colorado and uh, enlisted in the Army at a very young age. I actually joined the Army as a senior in high school, and I shipped off for basic training right after graduation. And interesting enough, 20 years later, I decided to, to leave the Army. Uh, but I will tell you this, I uh, served 10 years in the Army as an engineer and another 10 in the recruiting command of the Army. And ultimately, uh, retiring as an E-9, I was very fortunate to, to serve with some great soldiers and, and some great uh, civilians. And in my opinion, I think they had the, the positive impact on everything that I was able to, to accomplish with the Army. Well, given that background, we're very proud to have you here. Um, you are new. You're just settling in, but what can you tell us, what, what, with your time here so far, what are you proud of about our Veteran Service Office here in Douglas County? Watching our team, the, the passion they have to take care of veterans and their family is just unbelievable. And when you see that coming from somebody that is a, a volunteer or a former veteran, it is just rewarding to, to see that. And what we want to do is, is take that to the, to the next level. Well, that's outstanding. Now, obviously you see a lot of folks, you've seen a lot of folks who do come into the office looking for help, looking for assistance, looking to cash in on those benefits that they earned. But what would you say to the veteran that's out there in the community who hasn't yet come on in? Yeah, I think one of the, uh, the areas where we can probably work on a little bit is like getting out that communication to, to get those veterans in here. And something we are finding is, uh, you know, social media is, is big, but also uh, word of mouth. And, and once we get that out there with the, the current things going on with VA, uh, the changes coming up, uh, we want any veteran just to pick up the phone or, or just stop by. And what we are finding is if we can get them to pick up the phone or just stop by, uh, we uncover benefits that they never realized they were uh, uh, eligible for or could receive. And I'll give you a, a prime example. We have. Uh, a person that works here in one of the county buildings and we were just talking one day about our military service and here we are uh, four months later he was awarded a hundred percent disability claim based off a conversation that just started out here in the in the parking lot Wow! and every veteran knows another veteran every county citizen knows at least a, a veteran um, and that's what we want to do is just get everybody to, to reach out to us and, and give us a call or or stop by and I think once we get that going we'll be uh, able to help more. So outreach among the veterans community, let them know we're here, let them know what we can do. What are your other goals here in the office? I tell you Commissioner Till, the, the big one we're working on near, near term is, uh, is working on our staffing within the office. Historically the office has been staffed by uh, mainly volunteer veterans. And one of the things we realized is the volunteers are not uh, accredited by VA and they cannot specifically process a claim directly to VA. So we're looking at doing is keeping some volunteers mixed in with some county veteran service officers that can be accredited by VA, number one. But then number two, they're able to get into the VA system, which in a lifetime motion when we're talking to a veteran, we're able to see their record directly as to what VA has. So we'll be able to help them a lot quicker, a lot more uh, favorably for whatever type of situation they are, they are dealing with. So in our opinion, as we work through that, it's going to be a benefit for uh, not only the office, but for the veterans and, and their families. And, and to go along with the staffing, we're looking at uh, a topic that's been uh, near and dear to our hearts related to, to mental health. And in the veteran community, we have uh, a lot of veterans that have PTSD, uh, MST, uh, military sexual trauma, we have combat related issues, non-combat related issues. So we are looking at bringing on someone that can help us navigate uh, with veterans for whatever assistance they may need through either the VA healthcare system or something locally that we can assist them with here in, in Douglas County. 
And then lastly, uh, this is a little bit longer term, but we are looking at getting a uh, VA clinic here in Douglas County, specifically yeah. here in, in Castle Rock. So we're working hand in hand with our counterparts at VA to ensure we don't miss anything on that and keep that going in the right direction. Yeah, that's one we've been tracking for a couple of years now and uh, definitely a lot of excitement in the veterans community to bring that clinic in right here into the county seat. So if you had a message to give to the veterans uh, listening today, what would be that message you'd want them to know? I think it goes along with something I said earlier is, is just uh, take a few minutes to uh, reach out to us or, or stop by. And if not, get onto our website, get onto our Facebook site, and you're gonna see everything that's updated between VA that's going on with VA, everything that's updated with the changes. For example, the, uh, the new bill that was just uh, passed, the PACT Act. Uh, we're gonna have all that updated, and, and the more conversation we can have with that veteran, I think the better off we would be for that veteran helping them or their family. So the message would be uh, come and see us, pick up the phone. And one of the last things I always want to always talk about is uh, we have some emergency assistance for any veteran that may need some help with things such as rent, mortgage, uh, vehicle breakdowns, utility bills. So again, if we have a veteran out there in need, please reach out to us and we'll see what we can do to, to help you. Outstanding. Well, you heard it here, folks. Chris, thank you for joining the team. It's a pleasure to have you. Congratulations on your new position. Thank you, Commissioner Till. If you'd like to contact the office and learn more about the services that you might be entitled to, go to douglas.co.us, then search for Veterans Service Office or call 303-663-6200. And thank you for your service.